college orientations. Now, most colleges conduct orientation programs at every intake in plus two, bachelor's and master's. There are two objectives uh, that uh, these orientations fulfill or the two objectives that they are conducted. Number one, to reassure the students they made the right choice and avoid the bias remorse syndrome. Number two, to make students feel and understand they have started a new phase in their lives. Colleges choose one of the two approaches to meet the objectives. Number first approach, number one approach. Giving students real training to reframe their thinking, personalities and behaviors in this new phase of their lives. I am a veteran. Uh, I am the veteran in this approach and it is uh, highly it has been highly effective for students and the college itself number two approach bombarding students with speeches by movers and shakers of society to inspire or to impress them and the speakers too this is highly ineffective because most students don't have the mental framework to even understand the speakers, let alone the skills and the opportunities to apply what they heard. After over 15 years of doing orientations, I believe that uh, time has come to institutionalize approach number one. However, it should not turn orientations into another part of the course.